The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. Sparta gets off to a quick start here at Pope John. Beth DeGraw feeds Julia Carice to score the goal to make it 1-0 Sparta over Pope John. Lady Spartans make it 3-0 here as Taryn Penna feeds Claire Smitzer for her second straight goal as Lady Spartans alley Pope John 3-0. Then Emily Curie sweeps her way through the defense, pushes ahead for the goal right here as Sparta goes up 4-0 over Pulp John. Then it's Beth McGraw with her second straight goal for Sparta, and that gives them a 6-0 lead over Pulp John. Great look from Emily Carice on that play. Okay, Carice needs three goals to reach 100 goals for a high school career. She hits the milestone right here off the assist from Julian Silvestri, and Sparta is rolling. They lead 9-0. Congratulations to Emily Carice on goal number 100 of her high school career. All right, now it's Cassie Charles out of the free position for Sparta. She cashes in to give Sparta a commanding 11-0 lead over Pope John. Pope John gets a scoring opportunity right here, but Sparta goalie Bridget Denbor is all over it. She makes a nice save. Pope John finally gets on the scoreboard right here out of the free position. It's Christina Wartz with the goal. And Pope John now trails Sparta 11-1 at the half at Pope John. Sparta picks up right where they left off in the second half. Julia Silvestri with a tally as Sparta now leads Pope John 12-1. Lay Spartans increase their lead to 15-1 as Tara Penna Gets him a scorebook with this goal right here. It's now a 14-goal lead for those Lady Spartans of Sparta. Now with Rhett Curran making the cut, she catches it and scores for Sparta, and they now lead 17-1 midway through the second half at Pulp John. Then out of the free position, it's Michelle Keller of Sparta, ripping it into the net, 18-1 Sparta. Pulp John finally gets back on the scoreboard right here. This nice goal by Kateri Brooks, who takes it all the way by herself. Her team now trails 18-2. Then it's Allie McGuire of Pope John with the first of her three goals on the afternoon. The Lady Lions trail 18-4. And McGuire scores again. She had a nice game for Pope John, but they lose. The final score 19-5. Lady Spartans are now 4-0 on the season. We came out today really excited to play Pope John. Um, we've had a really great season so far, and uh, we were hoping to come out and beat them today, and we did just that. We were really pumped up. So We're so excited. Every year uh, we go out against Pope John, like hard, obviously cross-town uh, rivals, so like everyone's at the game, everybody's yelling, lots of energy. Uh, like Obviously, we come out here to win, so I don't know. It's always a good game, though. Yeah, it was a really good win. Uh, Pope John's like our cross-town rival, and it always feels good to beat them, and it really motivates us, and it was a big uh, game for Emily, and we all really like to support our attack because they're all so good, and Emily and Claire have had her um, 100th goal a couple games ago, so we just it was really exciting. It was really an exciting game, and one of our captains, Emily, scored her 100th goal, so that made it even better. Pope John Sparta is always a special game, and it was even more momentous today for Sparta as Emily Carey scored her 100th career goal. Me and Claire, actually, we've had our 100th goals already this season, and like for us too, especially, we've been playing together like forever and since like sixth grade, so um, it's really special for both of us in the same year and the same season to get our 100th goal together. Her teammate Claire Schmitzer scored her 100th career goal last week. It's like really, I don't know, it's great, and like most of it's from our team, like I have to say, like all, like all of like the success that one person has on our team is just from the rest of it. Like 90, I would say like 95% of our goals are off of assists. Like there's a lot of teamwork there. Also, Emily Kreese also has her hundredth goal. So like it's really unique because like there's never been like two people on the same team to score in the same season, which is like awesome. So I don't know. I'm really excited about it. Schmitzer makes this attack go, folks. She wins those draw possessions and gets Sparta going. She's so good. She gets it to me or Emily or Taryn Penna. She just has great accuracy and she gets it to us every time. Very important winning the ball, like the ball off the draw because that pretty much sets the tone for the whole game. And Maggie's obviously great on like the circle. So I don't know. It's good to have a player that can like actually make the ball go where she wants it to go. Sparta's attack is so deep and talented. They have seven kids that can go out and score multiple goals. We told the girls in the beginning of the game, like, we need to stay focused and not goof around, and we, we did just that. We came here, we had a really good warm-up, and we stayed focused, and we went out there and took it to them. We have 
basically like seven girls on attack that can score and that's a really strong point for us. We can, we, I have faith in everyone on offense and I can pass them the ball whenever I need to and like we just, we're really great on attack. I can have faith in everyone up there. There is not one person on our attack that can't score. It's awesome, I would say. Um, I don't know, like, it's really great just to know that, like, you could pass the ball to the person next to you, you'll know that, they, that they're going to catch it, and you know that they have a great chance of taking it to the goal just as well as you could. I think um, it's really, I don't know, it's great because all of us are very unselfish and we like to pass it around, and I don't know. Don't forget about that Sparta defense, folks. The offense gets all the headlines, but this defense is terrific, and Maggie Jen had a good game today against Pope. Because we have such a solid attack, we really like to take pride in our defense. We have a lot of experience back there. We have our three seniors. We have Nicole Rotliano, Lauren Fabiano, and Claire Romine. And we just like to put a lot of pressure on them, and we really take pride in our defense because it is a big part of the game. Sparta's off to a 4-0 start, and the Spartans think this could be a very special season. Yeah, we're really excited about our, our uh, season so far. We're 4-0, and um, we hope to keep it up, and we think we hope hopefully to win the div our league. It's been great. Uh, I don't know. We're so like we're so excited about it. We just want to keep winning, like try to power through like the rest of the season into states. Um, I don't know. Like we're just real excited about it. I love my team, so this is a great season. It's really good. Last year um, we were pretty good last year, but it feels really good to be undefeated. It's a lot better this season. We have a lot of team chemistry, and we all just love to play together. It's really exciting because last year we started off pretty not that well, but I think this year we picked it up a lot and. It's, it's fun.